Badika de Salah. In this video, you're going to look at how to make a very simple greeting card for Eid Mubarak. It implies a little photo manipulation, so you can work your way around it. So, without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the channel once again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you're old here. Thank you so much for coming back again. Okay, so these are the resources that I'm going to use for this particular greeting card and manipulation. All these resources are not mine. I'll put them in the description if you want to check them out. So let's jump right into Photoshop and create a new document of 12 by 12. So I'm going to new, I've created a document already. So I have 12 by 12 over here. And then I'm going to click OK. You can choose any size that you want, of course. So first off, let's add a gradient to this particular color. Now, I have the gradient set already, so I'm going to pick it up. And then these are the hexa codes if you want to copy them out. So this is the first one. And that is the second one. So we have this. And then I'll go to cancel and OK. But I'm going to change the style to radial and then the the scale will be 110 okay so i'm going to pick reverse also so it, it comes this way now once whilst you are here you can pick this one and scale it up a bit like somewhere around this place i think that's fine so let's click ok and go back to our stock and the first one that we're going to import is this one so you drag and you drop it inside of photoshop you hold shift and then alt and then you scale this up so basically we want around this area like that so what we do is you right click you go to the blending mode and then you change it to soft light so it is going to give you something like this so you take your time to position that one we don't want it to be that faded something like that so we're going to add a layer max to it and then we pick our brush to make sure you have the foreground color to be black and then you're going to brush off this area a little bit of it so that it wouldn't be that solid like that so that is it very fair enough now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going inside here and we bring the next background color something of that sort and then you hold alt shift and then you drag it like this so we don't want it to occupy all the space so i'm going to drag it over here somewhere around here rasterize and then I'm going to change the blending mode also to soft light. So this is how it happens. And then I will add a layer max to that one also. Pick my brush tool. And then I'm going to brush over this area. I want it to basically fit the down part only. And then I'm going to decrease the opacity to somewhere around 60, 65 or 70 there will do. Okay, so next off, I'm going to import in the Ramadan design vector and then I'll bring it inside of Photoshop. So I'll do as I did for the other ones and shift it over here like that. Make sure it is rasterized. So right click and rasterize layer. Press Ctrl A and then align it vertically so you can send it over here. But we don't want it to conflict with this one. So we transform it out a little bit like this. And then I'll shift it up a bit. So I double click on it to go to the blending options. And then I'll pick a, an outer glow for it. The outer glow, I'll make sure that the color is coming from inside of here. So something yellowish a bit. And then we go up a bit like this. And then I'm going to increase the size like that so that it glows over there. So from here, I'm going to close this one up. And then I'm going to bring in my lens flare. So I'll bring in the lens flare and leave it over here. Okay, so from there, I'm going to open it up a little bit like this. Double click on it. And then I'm going to rasterize that one also to rasterize layer. And then I'm going to change the blending mode to screen. And this is what I'm having. So I go to filter and then blur and then Gaussian blur. So it blurs it up a little bit. And then you can increase the size if you want it to be more blurry. So I'm going to add a layer max to that one also and brush the edges like that. I don't want it to conflict with any other parts. So it's like this. 
it should be in the center or somewhere around that place anywhere you want to put it now this whole thing looks a little more brightened so i'm going to add curves to this one and drag it down a little so that it will be a little bit darker let me know about your thoughts whether you preferred the brightened one or the darker one so something like this um something darker like this or something brighter like this or that let me know about your thoughts in the comment section so i prefer to go with this one and then the last thing that we're going to do is add a test so we go for the test tool and i'll be making use of two fonts the first one is any dory and the second one is acrobat so the first one would have to be e and that is it so i press ctrl t to open it up a bit like that so like here um, i want to make it somewhere very big so like that and this is what i'm having so i make sure it is in the middle of the whole document double click on it to open the blending option drop a shadow and then i'm going to increase the size like that and then i'm going to add a gradient overlay to it i'll maintain my white and i'll go for something a bit yellow so something like this yellow let me know if there was any color in your mind or perhaps which one are you going to use so something like this and i'm going to drag the white in a little bit more so that is it for the eight and the second one would be written with the acrobat so i'm going to write mubarak over here so mubarak and then i'm changing the font to acrobat and the boldness will be very bold or perhaps extra bold and then i'm going to close it up a bit so that it wouldn't be all that yeah so i'm closing it up minus 40 is okay so I press Ctrl T and then I'll close it up and press Ctrl A to make sure it is in the middle. So it's still bigger. So let's close it bigger and that is it. So you bring it here and you take your time to do the transformation the more. So double click on it to open the blending option and then I'll drop another shadow on this one. So to make it way darker. So let me zoom in to see how far we've come that is it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure this one is duplicated so that it becomes way brighter or this one let me know which one of them you prefer the most but i'll definitely go for this one because it's way brighter and the background is very dark and it brings out the lens flare so basically this is it if you have any other message or whom it is coming from so this one in particular is coming from inno graphics so uh, i can copy and paste this one to so ctrl j to copy and then you bring it over here and you can edit it so like inno graphics let's go for inno graphics and then that one will be a little bit thin and you can close it up also so this is how to make a simple e greeting card if you want to do it to the size that you can print that is fine but this one i'm going to post on social media so be sure to follow me up on instagram at say innocent on twitter at say innocent 1997 and on facebook as innocent keep to see how this one will look on social media if you are able to print one also and you would want me to see i'll be very glad to look at that one also thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one it's innocent here bye